hi all so welcome to this channel once again and in this video session i'll discuss how we can call an sql procedure inside an another sql procedure that is calling a stored procedure inside another stored procedure so here i'm going to call uh, the qcmd execute uh, sql procedure so that's an api as well in the r es400 so uh, ibmi so basically uh, a stored procedure gets created over that uh, api qcmd execute which uh, is used to trigger or execute some system command or system program and uh, that that uh, sql procedure was created by ibm so ibm db2i so basically that is already supplied by the ibm db2i so we just need to call that or what we can do is we can create our own sql procedure and we can call that sql procedure from our sql suite procedure so let me uh, show you the demo so you can uh, see that stored proc will is created to for this demo purpose so here you can see i am creating a stored procedure stored procedure uh, stored 12 and whose specific name is told 12 so basically the procedure name and the specific name are same here and uh, as we all know a specific name is always unique now this is the begin and end of the procedure where i have declared two variables string and suffix with default value blank and a respectively after that you can see I'm, I'm basically using the loop and then what I'm doing is I am reading I'm, I'm using the loop for where I'm, I'm using the cursor select name from pf1 underscore d so cursor name is cursor2 for curse as cursor2 cursor for this and you can see I have declared this variable so I think uh, for this loop thing uh, you can get an idea from my uh, previous video for where I created a video on loop iterate for while and other things repeat uh, iterative control statements so you can get an overview from there about this that how this gets executed so basically the, here the for loop gets executed for each row get fetched from this pf1 underscore d d table and this was a variable defined for this cursor on a for loop so to refer that name which is selected from here we are checking y dot name so variable name qualified the name uh, column qualified with the value variable name if y dot name equals to name one a then set this prefix and i trade this loop means uh, skip the further processing of further statements to be processed uh, between the end for loop and this iterate and so uh, will further process the next statements and you can see uh, here I am setting the string with that y dot name and concatenating suffix and then updating the the current uh, row which I am reading uh, using the cursor with the uh, by setting the name as the string which is now concatenated with the suffix after that here the main purpose of this video is to show you this calling this uh, procedure call qsys2 dot qcmd exe and here you can see I am uh, I'm doing the display job log output star print that is I'm printing the job log every time I call this loop so basically here I'm calling this multiple times so that's why I created this example I'll show you different other example I'll create I'll write other different examples as well to show you this demo in this video in itself so just wait and watch so let me first create this so I'll use run SQL STM command to create this stored proc is the source file name library name is 
is the class one and stored 12 is the source member so we need to set some parameters like commitment control is sorry none and since we are going to debug this procedure so we'll set the debug view as source now this gets compiled let me show you it's told 12 a uh, pgm type object gets created so now let's debug this And just wait we'll set the breakpoint then breakpoint at line number one so either I can call it from the command line uh, using call statement or I can call it from strsql as well as told 12 so you can see uh, a string is set to blank the suffix set to a and I'm reading the rows of this table all the rows of this table and fetching the name name 1a so if it's name 1a uh, we'll set the suffix to b and we'll iterate from this loop so you can see this time all the further statements are skipped since iterate statement gets executed and the loop will not execute the further statements till end for now it will again now the cursor set to the second row and now it will check for this it won't get true so I trade won't get executed so this time it will it will execute this and it will call this QCMD execute and display job happened so so let me show you the job workshop there are no spools till now for the job log now after execution you can see the job log gets created so this is the first time the job log gets created now again with the further iterations we'll do work job for so you can see now there are two job logs spool file now there are three and now the loop ends so you can see uh, there are three uh, job spools gets created for the job log now if I want to uh, just make some change and let me call uh, the stored proc 12 which I just written so you can then get a uh, broad idea uh, how this works and uh, we are calling a stored procedure inside a stored procedure and then a stored procedure inside a stored procedure so let me uh, just remove few things from here so let me uh, just move all those things from here I don't need all these things and even this so I'm just only calling a procedure so let me qualify that with easy class one and let me call this stored 12 which I just written and that does not need any parameters so I won't pass any parameters so it's an stored proc 13 then now let's first end debug this just create this so we'll creating this tool 13 just check work object is told 13 so it gets created just do strdbg is told 13 uh, just wait uh, then we'll set the breakpoint So let's set the big point at line number one then call stored 13 so we can either call from here command line or this test both the way are possible 
now let's do f10 so you are on the calling statement now here you need to press shift f10 once twice thrice so uh, till five or six times you press shift f10 you are inside these tool box so here if you uh, do shift f10 and you are not coming to this tool 12 which is gets called from the store 13 that is tool procedure 13 just uh, press shift f10 multiple times so that you come inside this tool procedure which is get which gets called from the another tool procedure so now you can see you can call any tool procedure which either you have created or the db2 ibm ibm has created supplied to you which is already available now let's call this so you can see at the first time the iteration execution so it will uh, escape this all this at the second time it would execute and all these things so the loop ends it comes out and it returns to the store 13 procedure and it ends now just do end debug now if you go and check for the spools which gets created so you can see uh, you uh, we have created this store 13 so a spool for that gets created after this uh, we call that store 13 and from there store 12 gets called which any which in itself creates three spool files by calling the qsys2 dot qcmd execute uh, uh, procedure uh, available in ibm db2i so you can see three spools are printed for the job log so uh, this is what uh, I am to show you here so I I have given a demo for calling this R QCMD XE SQL procedure or user created so let me make it user created procedure SQL procedure or you can see user defined as well you can say this so this is what I have uh, uh, shown here in this video and describe all those things so that's all in this video thank you and have a nice time